Hello guys, welcome to another FU Money. Today is our 20th episode, so it's a kind of a celebration uh, reason. Um, just before I go to, um, to the first um, item of today, let me just ask you guys to, um, to smash the like button and share this video with your friends if you like the content. Uh, I will ask you, uh, I will try to ask you from now on at the beginning of the video because it's uh, more productive to me instead of just uh, wasting a lot of time in the end. Uh, so let's go to the uh, screen share. I want to share something with you guys after the, after the um, analysis that I did on the Pi cycle indicator which, uh, if you guys remember a few episodes, uh, which episode was that? So today is the 20th and the episode that I analyzed the Pi cycle one was the 18th. So two episodes uh, ago, I analyzed the Pi cycle indicator as many of you requested me to do so. Uh, as I said then, I think it's an interesting um, indicator if you want to understand when when the price is overextended uh, to the upside and the lines cross indicating that we might have a big correction coming but so is the price to time uh, price to time uh, model when you consider that the price action crosses over to the upper side of the curved line the exponential curved line and we have noticed already that indicates the uh, probable uh, big retracement by the magnitude of about 15 to 25 percent uh, so i never saw the pi cycle indicator as something that we can completely trust to uh, indicate where the top is going to be on the bull run this indicates only an overextended price action uh, to the upside and you have many other uh, indicators and even the exponential curve of the price to time model can tell you that so but today i let's go to screen share i just want to share something with you guys from twitter okay so i just want to share this tweet that i saw this morning a few hours ago And this is a tweet by Plan B. As you know, Plan B is the author of the uh, stock to flow model and the more recent um, stock to flow cross asset model, which is the S2FX. And Plan B wrote uh, a few hours ago um, Now that all Pi Cycle, Wave, Rainbow, and Nopal fans have sold their Bitcoin, it is probably time for institutions to resume buying into quarter two so i was i was laughing a lot when when plan b uh, wrote this i'm glad he didn't mention my model here <laughs> but, so because he was completely uh, ironic about what he was writing and just because all the indicator well all the models that he mentioned uh in his tweet were um pointing to a possible top on the market now and um, inclusive the the pi cycle indicator which uh, is also pointing very very closely pointing not yet but uh, we are going to be there soon if if uh, everything continues like this indicating a market top for this bull run which is not true i don't believe that plan b doesn't believe that and willy Wu, for example also doesn't believe that uh, the three of us by by order of uh, numbers uh, willy Wu points to a 3k 300k uh, bitcoin price for the next stop plan b believes in 288k for the next stop and i believe in 280 or 83k uh, 283 or 280k for the next stop and uh, my my price to time model demonstrates that plan b's model the stock to flow also demonstrates that and willy Wu, as you know a very one of the top on-chain analysts we have so far in this in this space uh, also analyzing the the on-chain action of bitcoin points to a 300 000 bitcoin for the next bull run top so 
I guess all this uh, craziness about the pi cycle indicator is just another fad. I, I don't believe that this will indicate any market top. This will indicate many tops probably, but not exactly when you can expect a market top. I'm not saying that all the other models uh, tell you exactly when the market top is going to happen. Uh, however, uh, this one for sure will not indicate any market top for the bull run because it will only indicate overextended prices to the upside. And of course, we know that already this indicates a retracement or correction in the price action that could be very big. So that's the only thing the price cycle does. This is not, um, it's not an indicator that can tell you when approximately at least when the next market top will occur because it will mix different market tops as we've seen in my analysis two videos ago on episode 18 if you want to go back and check that episode again uh, you will see that in the bull run of 2013 of course it indicated two market tops but there was only one market top the other one was not a bull run top it was a local top and so the pi cycle indicator is not um, what it tells you that it, it is so it's not something that will give you the market top for that bull run it will give you many many market tops if we have irregular bull runs or something like that okay just going uh, i just thought it was funny to show you guys the tweet from plan b about all the different models out there that are pointing to a market top right now and all the craziness about that and I'm sure many people are selling based on that and this is completely stupid and you should never sell your Bitcoin uh, unless you have clear indications that we are approaching a bull run top and this is not the case as I said on my episode 18 and I will show you when we go now to the price to time model this is a market top and you can see the exuberance of the candles. These are weekly candles. You can see the exuberance of the candles just before a market top. They overextend in size to the upside and you never have a market top like the structure we have now. Let me just show you the 2017 market top. Again, you can see the exuberance of the candles, very, very extended, uh, long candles to the upside. And then you have a market top with a big correction just following the next week. And if you notice, the market structure right now does not have any any of that configuration any of that structure we don't see any long candles extending to the upside like crazy and this is not a market top so uh, at least this is not a market top as we are used to have market tops unless bitcoin is just now um, with a different structure showing us a market top which i seriously doubt it's happening so I believe that this is not a top. The pi cycle indicator is, uh, let me just show you guys the pi cycle indicator. I have it here. The lines are crossing and let me turn off my own, um, my own moving averages there so you can see better. So these are the two lines of the pi cycle indicator here. They are on top of each other this could mean according to the pi cycle indicator that we are reaching the top but as you can see the market structure the price structure here does not indicate any kind of top this could be a top so if you look at these candles here and the, the when you compare it to the previous ones you see that they are longer they are continuously going up in a very exponential move and this is the kind of move you see just before a market top, not this here, which is not overextended, even, even not above the curved line, the exponential curved line. But anyway, that's not uh, an indication of any market top, but it could be. Uh, but the price structure that we have now, it has been going sideways for a long time. And of course, this is not usually the structure of a price action that is topping. So just to give you guys uh, the analysis for the price to time model. So the candle of this week is turning red. We are below the curved line. I'm expecting 
some kind of sideways action and this is very healthy and this is very bullish if we continue to be below the curved line which means that we are consolidating and after consolidation periods like this you all know what happens in a bull market we usually break out to the upside so according to the price time model everything is healthy and sustainable and there is not a market top here we don't have the price structure for a market top so uh, as i told you before i consider the pi cycle indicator something interesting that could in conjunction with different other things can tell you uh, when you have uh, uh, an extended price action to the upside and that maybe a correction is about to happen but we'll never tell you exactly when the market top happens as we've seen in 2013 it didn't happen so going now to the mri indicator and strategy charts this is the weekly chart we are still bullish i don't see any reason not to be bullish right now unless we cross the red line to the downside which is the first support the first line of support is 56k um below that one i would consider the 52k 51 52k the next line of support which held the price on this candle on that candle and this candle and we are still above the trend line the white trend line here for the weekly so for now the weekly chart is bullish uh, there's nothing else to see here everything remains the same basically unless you consider that we still have this bearish divergence on the rsi which could uh, after this sideways action of the RSI could turn bullish if the RSI goes up we could see this bearish divergence uh, disappearing in time uh, but it will take some time because this is a weekly chart so we are not expecting this to turn completely bullish in the next few hours or days uh, everything looks fine the MACD is still approaching the blue line to the orange line so the gap is closing between the two and the bars are declining but i'm not expecting so soon some kind of big retracement the, the the fisher distance to the ema is neutral so nothing else to point out here let's go to the daily chart so in the daily chart we have a consolidation as you've seen we had an mri top a few days ago there was not actually some uh, you know really big retracement uh, one to four candles going to the downside on the price action uh, this just uh, turned out to be a sideways action with some consolidation around the 50 56 uh, to 59 so we are uh, just ranging between uh, 56,000 and 59,000. The uh, resistance at the 59, 60,000 is very strong. Bitcoin wasn't able to break that resistance yet. However, I believe that the more times we try, and you know this happened in the past so, so many times, the more the price touches a resistance, the more probable it becomes that the price action will break that resistance and cross it to the other side. So in this case, to the upside. Uh, as you can see, the 20 period moving average, which is the green line here, let me just get it closer to you guys, has been supporting the price for the last few days. Uh, now it's going uh, on the neutral direction, direction here to the right. Uh, the yellow, which is the 50 period moving average, continues to go up, as well as the 100 period, which is the red, and the 200, which is the purple. They all continue to move to the upside while the price is just trading in uh, sideways, in ranging uh, configuration. Okay, so the volume continues to decline a bit. It's not a very big decline, but we see that the daily shows a, a, some kind of decline in the, in the volume by time. Uh, however, this consolidation is increasing a lot the volume by price. Here on the right, you see that a very strong uh, area for support if we break out to the upside is forming right now. So I guess the 59 and 60,000 area will become a very strong support if we break out to the upside, go to the 70s, low 70s, mid 70s, and probably this will hold the price if we come back down to retest this area. 
Uh, the RSI on the daily is just turning a bit bearish. We had, as I said on my Twitter, uh, I have been tweeting about the BitMEX funding rate today and yesterday. I said the BitMEX funding rate was too high. You can see that on the daily, although I don't really like to talk about the BitMEX funding rate on the daily chart, but you can see that this exploded to the upside and we are now having, at least in the daily, uh, 0.15 or percent of uh, funding rate which is not a good sign no bueno and this also uh, triggered this uh, um, this dump we had today of about 1000 or two uh, sorry this was about f almost two thousand dollars i would say however we are now holding the price again and let's see what's happening on the four hour chart exactly so this is the dump we had today it started around uh, and we have a sell signal, the red star uh, of the MRI indicator. So let me check. So we started this candle, then we went up again to the 59,000. And now we are trading at 57,800. So yes, and the, this week was at 57,300. So I would say this was a a very big distance here for this dump about two thousand dollars and i guess it was triggered by this completely insane sorry again wrong button i'm getting used to press the wrong buttons here okay so this was the bitmax funding rate as you can see very very extended above the my threshold of 0 0.11 and of course this was what triggered as you can see, if you point this bigger, this bigger bar, it's exactly the first candle of this uh, drop that has been happening for the last four periods, uh, a 12, 16 hours. So now we are below the 0 0.11, but I believe that Bitcoin can continue this dump until we get the BitMEX funding rate close to zero or that is the same as saying we have to liquidate all those longs if you want to go higher. And this is what uh, is happening on the markets right now. If the BitMEX funding rate does not get lower than this, I believe that Bitcoin will continue to uh, maybe have this uh, uh, downside action, price action, which could be supported around 56k by the 100 period moving average we also have a nice uh, area of support here around the 56k as you can see by this structure here and this structure here this was the resistance around 56k before and then it supported the price several times so here it is 56k uh, I believe is the first line of support if we continue dumping the price to the downside. The 200 period uh, moving average, however, is coming up, is about to touch the 100 period moving average in some time from now. I believe the conjunction of these two lines will help support the price a lot. And this is, of course, the first trend line in white that you saw at the in the weekly chart. We are still very distant from that trend line. So I don't see any problem. Actually, what I would like to see is the um, if we have a very strong dump to the downside and we cross all the moving averages, we come close to uh, let's say 54 let's say 54 and we have a big wick then to the upside i guess all those longs would be liquidated and we could continue the price action uh to the upside maybe see all-time highs uh, sooner than rather than later because of the longs and this would be very healthy to the markets if we have some kind of really extended dump and then a very strong move uh to the upside again leaving this big wick behind and all the longs liquidated that would be very very healthy but of course uh, the market doesn't do what i want or i would be a billionaire right now so uh, <laughs> unfortunately this does not happen however it would be very healthy to see something like that and let's hope the bitmax funding rate continues to 
remain below the 0 0.11 threshold I have here in my chart, but if not, uh, I guess the price could continue some short-term uh, downtime action. Okay, uh, so let's just check the BitMEX funding rate on the hourly chart very quickly. We are still above the, on the one hour chart, we are still a bit above the 0 0.11. This is 0 0.12, not a big difference. However, every time we go above this red line, my threshold here, I expect uh, downside action, but we have the 57, 56 area here to support the price. So I believe we will not go lower than that. And besides, it would be a very good indication if we don't even go lower than this area here, which uh, already is a higher low as compared to this one. And if this one doesn't go below this area here around the 57,000, that would form a new higher low uh, which is a very good sign and a bullish sign also for bitcoin so let's just quickly go to the pro indicators um, strategy here all the lines are turning back down so i have the sine wave the momentum and the context sine wave all going down now the price squeeze did not turn out to be the breakout we all expected and we are now going to test lower levels for sure. Uh, let's see how this develops in the next few days. Uh, however, as you can see, and I mentioned this in my last video or two videos ago, I can't remember exactly which one, but I mentioned that the midline of this ranging channel has been supporting the price and being resistance also in the past. And it continues to be support. As you can see, this dump of today stopped exactly when it touched the medium line of the ranging channel. And that's a very good sign of bullishness. So let's see if we can uh, somehow liquidate all the longs that we had on BitMEX and continue the price action in a healthy, sustainable way to the upside. I see this as a, as a very, very healthy and sustainable price action because as long as this uh, sideways action continues to exist and we continue below the curved line of the price to time model and we continue to find support on the mid uh, line of this ranging channel, this is very good uh, to have Bitcoin um, consolidate the price increase the next support line which would be this one from the 58 to the 60,000 area and in the future when we break out this uh, third range boundary uh, breakout line around 61 and a half this will become a very very strong support if the price wants to come back down so to me everything looks fine i would love to see all the longs liquidated and bitmax funding rate coming back too close to zero or even negative if that is the case let me just stop the screen share here um, for now this is all the analysis I have here uh, as I said before just to summarize uh, my analysis of today I would love to see the um, uh, the longs being liquidated on BitMEX. I would love to see the funding rate coming back to zero or even negative. That would be a very nice, uh, that could trigger a very nice rebound in the price action of Bitcoin and we could see the price going higher and possibly retest the resistance around 59.60k and probably as I said before, also, the, the more times you see the price testing the resistance level, the more probable it is to break out that resistance and cross it to the upside. And I'm hoping that happens sooner rather than later. So let's see how this BitMEX uh, thing uh, evolves. And probably if we can get it to, if all the longs are liquidated and we can get the BitMEX funding rate back to zero or close to zero, that will have a very positive impact on, on the price action of Bitcoin and that will be very good for the future, uh, for the short term future and for the long term future. So for now, the analysis is done. And uh, if you enjoyed this content, again, just uh, smash the like button and share the video with your friends, invite them to subscribe to the channel. Let's grow the community. Let's try to reach the next level, which is 1000 subs. 
And from that point on, I will probably, as I said before in uh, some other videos, I will try to introduce also interviews in the channel or even have streams, live streams in the channel uh, weekly or depending on how many people uh, come to see the live streams. Uh, probably we could even have more than one a week. So let's see uh, what happens. For now, my next goal is to achieve 1,000 subs, and from there we can decide together and uh, see where that takes us. So for today, this is over. This analysis is done. Let's see how the price evolves in the next few hours, and I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.